Hey everybody, I have a video here for you today. Now, I was going to include this in my flood video from about two or three weeks ago, but I thought this would make a good video on its own and it fits well into my Ancient America series. And I like to include as many different aspects and try to have each video be as unique as possible. Sometimes that's a little hard. But this here is Lake Huron. If we back up here, you can kind of see this ridge. This is called the Alpena Amberley Ridge. I think that is how it's pronounced. But a long time ago, this was above the level of the water here. And there was ancient hunters making stone walls and other things. People theorized based on new evidence. And a team from the University of Michigan did some exploring under the water here. And what they found is pretty cool. And it tells you what was going on at the end of the last ice age as far as people getting together and doing fairly sophisticated things. Now, this isn't building a pyramid or anything, but it's obviously a lot of people with some forethought and some, com some community. And obviously, it had to be a lot of people if they had the forethought to do this and probably providing food throughout the winter for a lot of people. Now, I'm just going to do some reading. Now, this is live science, and this is an article from about four years ago, a little over. And I like reviving old stories, because how else would people remember this stuff? But it says, an elaborate array of linear stone lanes and V-shaped structures has been discovered on the underwater ridge in Lake Huron, marking what is thought to be the most complex site of ancient hunting structures ever found beneath the Great Lakes, according to a new report. And here is some sonar imaging, and the light indicates stones piled on top of other stones here. And we have one full circle, we have one just an arc, and they theorize these are like hunting blinds based on their other research. And it looks like there is one right here, maybe two. But I guess we cannot dismiss some astrological or ceremonial aspects to these possibly we have seen half arcs and full circles at other sites but they seem to fit in with the hypothesis that these are ancient hunting grounds researchers based at the university of michigan think the roughly 9,000 year old structure helped natives corral caribou herds migrating across what was then an exposed land corridor the so-called alpena and burley ridge connecting northeast michigan to southern ontario the area is now covered by 120 feet or 347 meters, uh, I think they have that backwards, of water, but at the time was exposed due to dry conditions at the last ice age. It says, using underwater sonar and remotely operated vehicles equipped with video camera, the researchers found two parallel lines of stones that create a 26-foot wide and 98-foot long northeasterly oriented lane that ends in a natural cul-de-sac. The team also found what appears to be V-shaped hunting blinds oriented to the southeast and a rectangular area that may have been used as a meat cache, according to the researchers. It says scuba trained, it says scuba trained members of the team investigated the site and found 11 chipstone flakes nearby the lanes, providing th further evidence that the area was used as a hunting ground. The researchers think the flakes would have been used to repair and maintain stone tools. And it says uh, they used computer simulations to see where the caribou most, most likely would have gone. And it says one of the two choke points fell directly within the newly discovered features. The fact that all the migrations tend to converge on these two locations would have provided predictability for ancient hunters, which is why we see so many structures located in these spots. Says John O'Shea, a researcher at the Museum of Anthropological Archaeology at the University of Michigan. And here is another pic from their research in stones placed in certain areas intentionally with some purpose. And I think this should be researched further. And if we can get a look at different areas of the lake, I think that would be highly beneficial because I think we would find some more man made structures. And here's an article from USA Today, and they also covered this story at the time, and then these stories just kind of vanish. It says, deep below the surface of Lake Huron, scuba diving researchers have found an elaborate network of hunting blinds and animal herding structures dating back 
roughly 9,000 years. Lake levels of the day were some 250 feet lower, exposing a narrow land bridge running from one side of Huron to the other. Prehistoric people evidently thought this isthmus was a perfect place to intercept caribou on their seasonal migrations. And here is a pic from their research and a very circular stone and it se there seems to be a hole in it. That's what that appears to be right there. And here is a pic from another article. I will leave the link below, but it shows you how long these rock walls were and where this isthmus was above water at the end of the last ice age. Now I think this should be brought up also. I did this video a few years ago using mainly just Google Earth, but there is just miles and miles and miles of walls above, uh, the, I think the Berkeley, California area up in the hills that are really unexplained. And I know some of you know about these, but is there the same purpose of these ancient walls whenever they were built to the walls at the bottom of Lake Huron? I just thought that should be brought up. Maybe not built by the any culture that is even related, but maybe for the same purpose. But I will leave a link to this video and a few others I have mentioned. I think this fits in well with my Ancient America series and also a video I did recently at Stone Circles at the bottom of the Aegean Sea. And what was the purpose of these? Well, I guess that is up for speculation. We have a circle and an arc here, obviously man-made. To me, what do I see? Well, I see the sun and the moon, but maybe I'm just weird. And I know I have read uh, in reading maybe a week or two ago about this site that Mr. O'Shea or somebody directly involved with this is doing lectures presently around the country on this subject. I know I saw a link for that. And if anybody can leave that, I would appreciate it. That is the story of the Alpena and Burley Ridge, the bottom of Lake Huron today. Thousands of years ago, at the end of the last ice age, there was human activity going on. Ancient America is pretty cool. Hope you thought that was interesting. You all have a very nice day.